Armed Corporation. When we're talking about zero-sum game very quickly, we have two circles. This is a negative circle and a positive circle. The negative circle, in my typical experience, no one is really happy about this one. It's not very often I see a negotiation where a part walks in and say, oh, do you know what? I'll be happy to take on cost, liability and risk. You don't, think, you don't have to think about that. I do that. And you can take all the profit. Do we have a deal? You know, it's very rare that happens. Very often, everybody wants this one, right? Everybody wants the earnings, the potential, the market know-how, the experience, and the profit, and nobody really wants this one. Have we got anybody in the room who's playing poker? Yeah? Have you ever made any money playing poker? No, it's just friendly. Uh, it's just friendly, okay. Well, making money could be friendly as well, couldn't it? Do you want to play later? <laughs> now, I'm not very good at poker, by the way. I have to say that. But a zero-sum game is very often just like playing poker. Because the rules of poker is that if you've got some really good cards on your hand, can we agree on that? You're not going to tell your counterpart. You're going to send out a smoke screen, you're going to bluff, you're going to pretend that you've got some bad cards on your hand. And if it's the opposite, you've got some bad cards on your hand, how you, what are you going to do? You're going to pretend you've got the opposite. You know, you always be actually trying to send out the smoke screen and not sharing the information. That is basically zero sum. Look what happens when we move into smartnership. The circle that creates the benefit just grows, and the circle that creates the negative sides and the cost are being reduced. And why is that? Because even before we start splitting and sharing the potential of NICO economics, we are trying to reduce the cost for both of us, and we are trying to increase the value for the both of us. So, if zero sum is like poker, smartnership is like a puzzle. Have any of you ever tried to, to one late night, something like that, sitting with a, a big puzzle. Have you ever tried that? I did that years ago. I never figured out why I started this project. But I was sitting with one of these big puzzles with thousands of pieces. And I was, was night after night, I was sitting there working with all of those pieces. I'm never, never going to do that again, but I was doing that, sitting there, putting all the pieces together. And it took me hundreds of hours, basically. And then my wife, she's very realistic, she came up to me after that and she said, well, when I was done, she said, no, you're not completely done. You're missing two pieces in the middle and three up there on the right-hand corner. And she was right, but I didn't know where those pieces had gone, whether the dog had ate them or my daughter had taken them away or what. They were not there. But suddenly I realized, hey, a negotiation is just like a puzzle, isn't it? When you show up for a negotiation, you have approximately 50% of the pieces to the puzzle. The counterpart has the remaining 50%, and the only way you'll be truly successful is persuading the counterpart to present their pieces to the puzzle. You place your pieces of the puzzle on the table as well, and then you try to make them compatible. The only strategy that will achieve that is the smartnership approach if the parties have trust and agreed the rules of the game. Now this might be a little bit complex, so I brought along a 